My name is Salem Green. I am a uh, writer and a poet, and I work with the Black Belt Citizens doing contract work around literary healing and a women's coordinator. Well, Uniontown is a small um, community in Black Belt of Alabama, maybe 14 to 1500 people, um, marginalized minority community that have been um, impacted by environmental injustice through a coal ash as well as water sewage issues as a result of factory emissions from a cheese plant factory. There's also political uh, previous attempts at voter fraud as well. Well, Black Belt in Alabama and the Black Belt spans from Georgia to Mississippi, some parts of the Carolinas as well. But the Black Belt of Alabama has 12 counties that represent um, some of the most rural areas of Alabama. Most of those areas are poverty stricken, but um, the Black Belt um, talks about the particular soil, the black soil that's in that particular area. Well, in the past, there have been some people who have talked about their thoughts around people buying votes, um, people being paid for their, their votes as well. Also some an activity at local elections that were not in tangent with the rules of politics and political uh, affirmations of what they were supposed to be doing. The Black Belt Citizens Organization um, is an organization that fights for health and justice in the community. And the officers and the leadership have impacted uh, the community to fight for their own economic development as well as justice around voting as well. And one of the wonderful things is that during our last election for um, district commissioner, we had our vice president, Ben Eaton, who ran for uh, commissioner for his district five, and he won. This is a huge, huge um, impact towards the community. But to get us there, we had teams of women that were coordinated through Black um, Voters Matter, which is a national organization out of Washington, D.C., uh, founded by Latasha Brown. And this particular network Gives, gave an opportunity not just for the Black Belt in Uniontown, but the entire nation, but particularly Alabama. I got a chance to work alongside Latasha, the Black Belt Citizens, the Black Belt Citizens President Esther Calhoun, and women community leaders in Uniontown to go around the entire community for three weeks and canvas the community, talk about voter education, to do a really robust voter education campaign that included talking door to door neighborhood to neighborhood, business to business, with people in the community about who were voting, about their voter rights, and knowing their voters' rights, and also supporting um, individuals particularly who needed to get registered to vote or maybe also had some issues in the past that they needed to rectify. So we brought people in to support them in those areas. And as a result, um, we saw a huge win, and we saw a huge um, outpouring of people who were going to vote. In District 5, which is the um, Ben Eaton's district, the district he won in, he won by 33 votes. You're talking about a, a town that is 1,900 people. In his district, um, I think it was maybe 432 to 427, not good with the numbers, but it was um, by 33 votes. So over 800 people in one district in um, Perry County came out to actually voice their vote. And I think it was hugely as a result of the Black Voters Matter campaign, the Black Belt Citizens coordinating and collaborating in partnership with women and youth teams to go out and do voter education throughout the community and having that capacity and having that partnership to do that, but also having the leadership through Black Belt Citizens, Black Voters Matter, Latasha Brown, and the women of the community and the energy and the spirit of the youth of the community to do that is what really brought people to the polls, educating people to, about what their rights were, and then also giving them tools to rectify any um, situations that, that they had. So we're really excited about about what this means for Uniontown, but Perry County and the Black Wheel. So I think this shows that people are interested in voting, they're interested in voter education, but they're also interested in organizing and canvassing and going door to door and doing some of those very, very day-to-day -day things that's gonna make the entire difference. What got, has gotten lost to the people, what has gotten lost is what happens when people who are already in poverty, who already have a multitude of other um, and justice issues that are crowded the area. What happens when you now bring in climate adaptation? Now what happens when you are looking at ways in how you can 
help educate the community that this is a part of, this needs to be part of the climate communication, a part of the climate talks, parts of what the broader scheme of what people are saying. So I think now is a very unique and exciting time. The NAACP has made great efforts in talking about uh, people of color and climate adaptation and climate change. And we recently had Jackie Patterson, who is the executive director of climate um, change for the NAACP, come down and talk with our women during a healing circle that I lead in the community to talk about how do we now say those words, what do those words mean, and how are we communicating that to other people as they are listening to this whole dialogue around what's happening in Uniontown. And beyond that, the great spirit of Uniontown and the Black Belt and other areas that have been impacted and, women, and people of color have been impacted by climate adaptation and climate issues is that they are finding their own solutions. They are culminating and cultivating their own partnerships. They are bringing people in to help support healing practices and also helping to support contemporary ceremonies around the land and around land justice and around the assets that we already have as far as women who own property, women who are looking to own more property, and then how we can now look at environmentally what it is that we need so that not only we can address these issues, but we can communicate about it a little bit more effectively on the grand scale.